the secretory problem is a famous problem that uses the optimal stopping theory. The secretory problem was apparently introduced in 1949 by Merrill Flood. He proved that one strategy of the firm reject the first P unconditionally, then accept the next candidate, whoever is better. This strategy dominates all other strategies. The optimal stopping rule prescribes always rejecting the first N over E applicants. E is a constant 2.71 and N is the number of candidates. Here is an example for secretary problem. A manager needs to hire a secretary and has n applicants who are interviewed one at a time. After each interview, you must make a binary decision, hire or skip. If manager rejects a candidate, he does not get a second chance with this applicant. The aim of the exercise is to try to select the very best candidate from the applicant group. Manager has no idea of the distribution of talent in the pool, but he knows the total number of candidates. If manager selected the first candidate, he says, the chance of this subject being the best candidate is low. We see that a better strategy is to meet a few candidates instead of selecting the first subject. Too small a sample and we don't get very much information. Too large a sample and though we get plenty of information, we have burned too many of the potential candidates to get this knowledge, leaving very few to choose from. So the challenge is in selecting an ideal sample size. Once we have an optimal value for sample size, a better strategy could be selecting the first candidate whose skill exceeds the highest we saw in the sample so far. Have a look at Wikipedia's page on secretary problem. Key takeaway is that the optimal value of the sample size is total number of candidates n divided by e. e is a constant with value 2.71. I found this website very useful to understand calculation of probability of selecting the best applicant. Let us calculate optimal sample sizes for different values of n. Remember, optimal sample size is just n over e and e is 2.71. Round off the value of e. Let us now calculate the ratio of optimal sample size k over n. Referring to this formula for probability of success from Wikipedia, here are our estimates for probability of success. You might find this simple app useful to understand this concept further. Thank you. I hope it was useful.